You ready for another aqua sugar hack? I bet you are because you're watching and that's always a good thing. Now when you're water hunting, you guys have probably figured out that it's really difficult to keep your good stuff, your coins and your buttons, in a container that doesn't float away. Because a lot of us use like skull cans or pill bottles or you know, anything like that. And it works great on land, but once you get in the water, those things have air in them and you know, you get up to your waist and those things have air and they, you know, come up and float away and down the river they go. And if you're lucky, you see them. And if you're not lucky, well, they're gone. So I'm going to show you how to make a container that you'll never have to worry about that again. And I learned this little trick when I was diving down in Florida looking for shark's teeth. This is how they do it down there. And it works great for relics too. And it's simple and it's cheap. And you'll say to yourself, why didn't I think of that? Well, you don't have to, because I'm thinking for you. Let's look at it. Get yourself a plastic jar like this. This is just peanut butter. This is a Jif jar. And if you love pickled onions like the aqua chigger, you might be able to get one that had pickled onions in it. But I've only ever seen them in glass, so you probably never will. You get your jar, and we need to put some holes in it. Now, you might be tempted just to take a knife and jab it, but I'm afraid that if you do that, you will end up with tears coming down, and your jar might actually fall apart. So I'm going to show you two easy ways to put holes in the plastic container. You want holes in this thing, is so that when you go in the water and you go over your waist or whatever, this thing is not full of air and float away, because the holes will allow water to infiltrate, and it'll be full of water, and it'll be the same buoyancy as everything around it, so it won't float out of your bag. When you stand up and you get out of the water, the water will drain out the holes, so you won't be carrying around a big jar full of water, which gets heavy after a short period of time. But all you need to do is take your drill and drill some holes in it, just like this. Well, I kind of goofed up a little bit. I accidentally deleted the video of me drilling the holes in the container. But just get yourself a drill like this with, um, I'll make it go the right way, a bit about that size. And just drill a bunch of holes in the container. If you really want me to make another video to show you how to drill holes in the container, I'll do that for you. What we'll do is we'll make a, a bunch of holes in it all the way around and maybe three or four high. Because you want the water to get in here quick and get out quick. So that when you first go into water that it doesn't take long for it to fill up and when you get out of the water it doesn't take it long to empty now you can use a drill but look what it does it leaves this kind of rough stuff which I don't really like so I'm going to show you how I do it the aqua chigger way which is a lot more fun because you get to use fire yeah fire we like fire but here's how I do it this is the method I prefer to put holes in it because it melts a hole in it you don't have to worry about rough edges or anything like that. And um, you don't have to worry about it tearing like you might if you use a knife. So just get yourself something like this. Uh, you could use a Phillips head screwdriver. Just keep in mind that when you, because you heat the thing, you might be altering uh, the brittleness of it. You can also use a nail uh, held in some pliers. I used to do that. We want to get this thing good enough. All right, that's been on here a while, hopefully long enough. Now watch what happens when I make a hole with this as opposed to the drill. So if you look at the holes, you'll see that you don't have these rough, ragged edges. It's nice and smooth. You want to go around and just make a bunch of holes in it all the way around. I'll show you what it looks like in a minute. So I've made a bunch of holes in it now. You can see I didn't really make them in nice pretty lines because, well, it just didn't work out that way. But you don't want the holes too big because you don't want things to fall through. Like if you find uh, cut silver, which is really small, you don't want them coming through there. And you don't want them too small because you want this thing to fill up with water fast and you want it to empty fast. So you have a nice container. Now what? You can't just throw this in your bag because it's just a loose container. And if you're a diver like I am, you know, taking this thing in and out of your bag, eventually you're going to lose this or you're going to lose the lid. So there's another neat little trick, and I'm going to show you what it is right now. Heat this thing back up. And once it's good and warm, you're going to put a hole in the top and a hole in the bottom. Just like this. Get a hole in the top and a hole in the bottom. Again, you can use a drill if you want to, but I prefer melting it because it kind of seals the edges right there and it keeps it from cracking more. Here, a thunderstorm rolling in. We're going to get this thing wrapped up. So I have this lanyard here that I made. I've already tied one end. 
The other end I haven't tied yet and this is why because we have to thread it through both holes. Now because I have the loop in here I'm going to start in the bottom and come all the way up through the top and then tie a loop in this end just like this. And then what I would do at this point is again, I'd go ahead and put goop on here so this doesn't come undone and either tape or goop on that. The reason we put a loop on this end is so the rope can't pull back through the jar. And the reason we put a loop on this end is so this lid will not float away when we take it apart on the river or for diving underwater. So we'll just put the lid back on it like this. We'll grab a carabiner, snap it on here and snap it on the bag. And there you have it. Throw that in your digging bag and when you find something small you'll never lose it. You need to take the lid off if you're diving or in the rapids, no problem. You won't lose it because this is what will happen. Cool, huh? And it's really simple to use. In fact, I have one in my digging bag, the one I normally use, which is right here. This is what one looks like after using it for a couple years. You can see it's kind of all scuffed up and whatnot. And I actually put some holes in the bottom. I think the reason I did this is because the plastic is much heavier right here. I thought it would give it some more structural integrity if we use that instead of the sides. Uh, I've seen guys actually put so many holes in here. It was just like the thing would almost fall apart just looking at it. But this is perfect. I mean, it just works really great for what we need it for. You guys remember Bart? One of my old videos? Cowabunga, dude. <laughs>